This is Fred Beck from Fred Dogs Fighting. I'm joined by Mams Taylor after a very, very impressive show, I'd say. My favourite. Of all the misfits, are the 12 misfits that happened? Personally, yes. My favourite okay. event. Any moments in particular which you love the most? Obviously, the reveal of the mystery opponent could have gone wrong in so many ways. I did everything I could to keep it secret, throw people off, red herrings, and uh, it seems to have worked out. <laughs> mm, certainly. Whose idea was it to have all the other ones come in first? Mine. Mine. Yeah. Not yours. Was it yours? No. You sure? <laughs> you never know. You never know. Um, you were hoping Ginty would stay in there. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, Favourite knockout of the night? Um, well, Fox the G's knockout was special, wasn't it? And now I know why you don't want to fight him, Fred. Uh, look at Mams go. He's just, we actually were going to fight back in Misfits number four, but then he wasn't old enough. He was 17 in his own louder. So that was the time it was going to happen. That was the time we were so all training. ready for it, yeah? Well, that was the time we were all training. Listen, we can, we can talk off camera about it. Anyway, no one cares about me. Everyone wants to know about the fights. We all care about that fight. L Brooks knockout. Amazing. And look, on any given Misfits show, there were a few contenders for knockout of the night, prime knockout of the night, um, and L was one of them, as well as um, Tristan Hams, as well as uh, perhaps Pinedas. I didn't get a great look at it. I just saw him fall out the ring. And um, look, Ed, Ed really stepped up. Pineda really stepped up. Short notice. We had to move the main event, and I think it delivered. Mm, certainly, it certainly did. Um, Ashley Raksu and Oji Rose being a draw? Um, i got to go back and watch it again. It was a close fight. Um, I felt like maybe I could see right now, having watched it one time, I could see why it what might be a draw. And I could, I could also see uh, OJ edging it three rounds to one. Okay, interesting. Interesting point there. So we'll see the rematch on the next couple of cards, do you reckon? You've got to, a draw is not decisive, so we've got, to, we've got to figure it out and determine who's the superior fighter. What was KSI saying through the whole event? He was sitting next to him. He was just loving it, man. He was enjoying it so much. I could tell he wanted to get in there, um, and uh, it was exciting for him. You know, like, we, we, we just, we had a great time. It was a fun night. Can you hold the poster up to the camera you got there? Yes. <laughs> The other way around. I'll just, I'll just Photoshop it in, in the thumbnail of who it is. We might as well turn it. It'll just save a little bit more time. <laughs> you can't break it. There was a picture of Slim and KSI fighting. Um, can you make that, do you think that fight is next to JJ? Slim no, versus KSI? I don't. I, I love Slim. I just don't think... Look, I think if Slim fights KSI, KSI beats Slim. No disrespect to Slim. I think it's a... It's, Going from Tommy Fury to Slim might not be a good uh, aesthetic for KSI. And for, if Slim loses, which I think KSI would be a heavy favorite, Slim loses to KSI, that destroys his pathway to where he's going. So, you know, I, I, Slim 7-0. and What a Slim chins JJ. Look, anything's possible. Anything's possible. But JJ, I, I don't know. I think JJ's <laughs> a bit too big and strong for him. But Slim in his weight class has proven he's the best there is right now. Mm, I remember him telling me that he could have been the main event of it tonight. Just one last thing. When will we hear about the next announcement for Misfits? Um, <clears throat> very soon. Very Working soon. on it. Awesome. Mamas, thank you very much. Thank you, Frederick. Nice one. Pretty good, huh? Mm.